Welcome back this morning. We're at Philippians chapter 3 and verse 8 this morning. Listen to this. Yet indeed I also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and count them as rubbish, that I may gain Christ. So kind of a continuation from what we had yesterday morning. Paul says he already counts these things lost. Why? For the excellence of the knowledge of Jesus Christ my Lord. So there's already an experience. Paul has a Christian experience. He has an experience with Jesus. And based on that experience, he's already written everything off. We talked about this yesterday. Notice what else we have here, though. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and count them as rubbish, that I may gain Christ. Again, he's already counted these things loss. But again, notice the purpose that's at the very end here. That I may gain Christ. That I may gain Christ. If anything stands in the way, if you have bad relationship with material possessions, maybe with people who would take you away from the gospel, if you have a relationship with anything that that's unclear, you're vague, you're not quite certain whether you value being a Christian more than you value, you know, X over here, that's a problem. And at the bottom of verse 8, he has counted all these things like rubbish that he can gain Christ. There may be things that are in the way for you. A rich young ruler might come to mind. He was rich. He had everything. He said he'd kept the commandments from his youth up. If you go back to the Gospels and read this story, Jesus said, you know, there's one thing you're lacking. And what was that? He said, go sell everything you have and then give the proceeds to the poor. And then he said, come and follow me. Well, the rich young ruler was like, ah, no, I don't think so. If I have to choose A or B, I'm not willing to follow Jesus. I'm not willing to give up my stuff to follow Jesus. So he wasn't clear-minded on this. You and I need to be clear-minded to count everything the loss of everything. Count that against gaining Christ and recognize that gaining Christ is worth it at any cost. Friend, at any cost, heaven will be cheap enough. But let's turn our eyes upon Jesus and all that he stands for and make sure we're completely committed, completely over on his side yesterday and this morning thinking on this line. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, do we really count all things rubbish for the benefit of gaining Jesus. I pray, Lord, that we do. I pray that we're clear-minded. We're a generation that, that really, up until now, has really not been dramatically tested. Life has been, we admit it, Lord, very easy for us, and that has led some of us to have a weak faith. So strengthen our faith, Lord. Help us to be ready when the tests come, and help us. We're not trying to get rid of stuff, but we certainly want to get rid of anything that would cause us not to count the gaining Jesus supreme above all things. Oh, please, Lord, help us to be completely yours. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Thank you for letting us be on the team, Lord, and serve the kingdom of heaven with Jesus. Lord, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So God be with you today, and let's have our values really tucked in.